Diaz. We are currently in Urabamba. We got here last night, so we flew into Cusco, and it was the most beautiful flight ever. <laughs> and then we, our friends had a family member bus us here, and on the way we stopped at the most beautiful scenery I've ever seen. It was the most beautiful spot. And so um, we took pictures there, and it was just absolutely stunning. So we are now here. This is the place that they are going to be staying at for the rest of the month. We're gonna spend one more night here, and then we're heading off on our own. All right, so we slept in till like 10 and the littles were not happy with us, but we now get to eat breakfast by ourselves and then probably clean up, so. I don't know what this is called, but we were told it's really good, so what you do. That's a bread knife. Yeah, well that's the cheese knife. I we'll just like chop it off. Okay, maybe pierce it. Kyle's gonna figure out, you just cut the top off. Yeah, okay. yeah, I was kind of paying attention. So this is like Cusco bread. Bread doesn't rise here because the altitude is insane. We've got milk from last night's milking, so. Yeah, they brought it over like 8.30 at night. We had kind of, people were heading to bed. So it was just, it was quiet. And then we just hear a very loud, boom, 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 boom. Somebody knocking on the door and they brought us fresh milk. I've never had fresh milk before. I haven't either. And what is that? Is that some sort of like Peruvian avocado? <laughs> Yes, it's an avocado. But Peruvian? But Peruvian, yes. Kyle was just playing outside with the littles and they were playing with the rocks and he's like, are those Peruvian rocks? And then we've also got some, some cheese. This is a very salty kind of... Okay, um, once, you, once you break it... Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I figured you just need to pierce it. I'm gonna go grab some cutlery. While well, Amy's gone, she wanted me to talk about taxes. Please cut that out, Amy. I feel like a pirate. So I don't, I don't think you can do it anymore. I think you just popped it off. Oh, what? Yeah, so inside she's like, it looks like sea anemones. You can kind of see the spikes back there. So you just eat it like an egg. Um, last night we had... I scrambled my eggs. <laughs> last night we had pollo gallina and it's like a chicken stew curry type of thing. It was so yummy. <laughs> and then the best potatoes I've ever had. They're literally just boiled potatoes, but they were just so buttery and smooth. It was, it was just so good. Like I could eat those every day. And so Peru, I think we've already mentioned this, Peru is where potatoes come from. They've got over 3000 varieties and they're so, so good. So I'm gonna try this. Wow, you were struggling. I like a mild kiwi. I like kiwi. You got the crunch of the seeds. I'm sure it give you some good fiber. I bet you'd like it. The milk's good too. That's how I eat my eggs. <laughs> and then here they also use a very powdery salt. It tastes like blue. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, so Urabamba is a little city in the Sacred Valley and so Cusco is really high elevation. Urabamba is a little lower, it's kind of in the valley. Sacred Valley. Yeah, and we're just gonna be here for another night. We are gonna go to church here on Sunday, which I'm super excited about. There's actually four churches around here, um, four LDS churches around here um, in kind of the Sacred Valley area, and there's one pretty nearby. So I'm excited about that. What is that? It's the salt. Mm. Oh, so last night, getting dark, we're driving through Urabamba. Basically, the place we're at is at the end of a alleyway sort of street and it's very narrow and our big van driver backed up i'd say he backed up like a mile mm -hmm. to get us here <laughs> it was so crazy because a lot of places internationally driving is just a whole different thing but i've never had yet to be backed up like a whole mile in the dark and you know he couldn't see out of the rearview mirrors and so it was just crazy but so he crazy. did it yeah he did it yeah, this milk is really good. So today I think we'll either just like hang around and kind of go through Urbamba and then um, maybe do laundry, maybe not. We might wait till we get to Aguas Calientes. So that's our next destination and that is Machu Picchu. So we're excited about that. We're gonna be staying in like a treehouse suite there, but we're going to enjoy our breakfast, clean up, and then kind of go on with our day. And we'll show you a little bit around the place. Actually, now might be a good time. Do that right now since it's just us here. So 
We've got living area, dining area. There's actually a room back here. I'm not gonna like go into super depth. We're, yeah, we're just staying here for a little bit. So this is actually um, a lot of adobe. It's kitchen and so these are the fruits. So this is the fruit that we just cracked open. And then I'm just gonna show you. So yeah, they're just boiled potatoes, but they're incredible. <laughs> Game changing. So then there's just this hallway that has the rooms. So this is the room that's currently locked. And then I'll show you our room in the bathroom. Fun little light, our stuff's everywhere. An armoire cabinet. And then this great, is this embroidered I think? And then these bags, you'll see a lot of locals wearing them and carrying their stuff in them. And then the bathroom. A lot of places in Peru, you actually just put toilet paper in the garbage, not in the actual toilet. And then there's this massive tub situation. Just look, such high ceilings, so. Anyways, um, yeah, we're excited to be here and I'm gonna finish eating my breakfast. Do you have anything you wanna talk about, Kyle? This is the best banana I've ever had. I bet. It is Mother's Day. Buenos dias. We are walking to the main road and we're gonna grab a moto taxi and we're gonna go to church. We spotted an LDS church on our way in. So that's where we're headed. And then we'll spend a few more hours in town. Oh, we are? Well, we're gonna meet them in town. Oh, we are? I think so. Then we'll come back, pack up and head out. That is currently the game plan. But that we all agreed on. You weren't there. Yes. You were busy. So we went to church, ended up going to, accidentally going to the leadership meeting. The internet said that church was at nine, but I guess church was at 10. So we went to church for three hours and we would have probably left earlier, but partway through I realized they didn't have anyone who could play piano. And so I kind of um, went up there and played piano. So then we kind of had to stay. <laughs> until it was over. Let you talk about what happened next. And then we just went to the market to break some change. We didn't quite go to the market, but... We, we were like three blocks away from the market. I don't know what the difference is. <laughs> You'll find out. So yesterday we were in the town center and then that big place with all the produce in the lower level. Gotcha. That's the market. Okay, so we have different vocab for this for different things or whatever. So, we've so we were just walking around the streets, going into people's homes, then asking people for change. Well, there were a couple bodegas still, but broke well, we... change, got some snacks, got a moto taxi back. And those are my words? Oh, and we're accidentally locked out of our hotel. Yeah, so we're waiting for our friends. But uh, we can hear them right I now. I think I hear them. I'm gonna put our passports. <laughs> All right guys, we just took a taxi from Urabamba to Oyante Tambo. We were originally going to bus there and then taxiing just kind of worked out. It was good because I was still kind of crying from saying goodbye to our friends and so it worked out well. We paid 30 soles, which seemed fairly reasonable for us. It's about a half hour drive. I'm sure you could get it a little cheaper and it was just easier with our suitcases. 
we just checked in and got our tickets. We were taking the Vista Dome. So funny story, I actually booked Vista Dome tickets for us on the way back and Kyle surprised me and booked Vista Dome tickets too. So now we're just bougie and you'll see what the Vista Dome looks like in a bit. Um, you have to be on the train half an hour before it leaves and you're supposed to pick up your tickets about 45 minutes beforehand, if not an hour. So we're doing great time. Kyle's over there. We usually do. <laughs> The drive is beautiful. So Oyante Tambo is one of the kind of gateway towns to Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is its own town called Aguas Calientes. And so there's Urubambo, Oyante Tambo, and Sounds there's like great. another one. Cusco's kind of the big um, the big city. And then the Sacred Valley is like Oyante Tambo, Urubamba. It's, uh, it's tres or something like that. Anyways, we're gonna see if we can find some food around here. So we've had mega queso Cheetos and um, Half a thing of muchas. Uh, marachas, something like that. So we're gonna go try to find food and hang out before we get on the train and we will definitely show you the Vista Dome. I'm actually excited that we have it both ways, but it's expensive. The train tickets are each for the Vista Dome are 95 USD, which is expensive, but mm. it's okay. And it's $95, so I mean, you can think it's expensive or not. It's expensive comparative to everything else at this point. This is pretty. It is. Really pretty. So real fast, I do want to mention there are two rails here. There's Inca Rail and Peru Rail. We are riding with Peru Rail and the train itself is at the end of the street. So we're going to walk there so we can find some food along the way. And that is what I wanted to say. Got some food, got some Inca Cola. So the best way I can describe Inca Cola, and we were told you need it cold. It's like lemony, but it burns. <laughs> but not in like a boozy way. I don't have the, like it smells almost like bubble gum. Mm -hmm. It's got a candy, mm -hmm. sort of like <clears throat> smell and like aftertaste. Mm -hmm. But it's also like a mild lemony. I wouldn't say lemony. And then we got a plate of chicken and rice, so arroz con pollo, and this was 10 soles. The drink was four. Four soles, I'm gonna write that down. She's gonna write that down. And we're just, you know, down the street, there's not much, and so there's a few different vendors here selling food, so. It's like they know. <laughs> wow, how did they do that? Cool, cool, cool. We'll see you on the train. <laughs> 